Hi, this is Mandy at Our Life Out Here, and today we're going to make homemade laundry detergent. The first thing you're going to need is a laundry bar of soap. You can use Zote or felt naphtha. These can both be found in the laundry aisle at Walmart or a grocery store. If you can't find it there, then try Ace Hardware or Amazon. You can also use ivory or you can use a homemade lye soap and hopefully we'll be doing that later on this year, so stay tuned. The next thing you need is 20 Mule Team Borax. Sodium borate, it's a naturally occurring mineral. It's been around for a really long time. You also need arm and hammer washing soda. This is not to be confused with baking soda, even though it does have the cute little muscle arm with the hammer. This is sodium carbonate, not sodium bicarbonate. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grate our soap. You're going to use a third of a bar if you use the felt snaphtha or any kind of commercial soap. If you use a homemade soap, just go ahead and use the whole thing. It's not an exact science and you'll have lots of cleaning power. So once we grate that up, which I've already done for you because you don't want to watch me grate my knuckles, we're going to put this into six cups of hot water on the stove. And then I'm going to use my special soap stirring spoon because I don't want to make my laundry soap and my food with the same spoon. So we're going to stir this up until it gets, until the soap dissolves. And so we're just, all we want to do is just kind of stir this and let this grated soap dissolve. And if you get your water nice and hot, it doesn't take too long to do that. The other thing you're going to need for this project is a five gallon bucket. We have lots and lots of five gallon buckets out here. Um, I always buy food grade because I never know when I bring it home what it's going to get used for and I just prefer that we stay away from BPA and the plastic and all of that yucky stuff. The next thing you're going to add to your pot here is that you're going to add your borax and your washing soda. You need a half a cup of each of those items. And I went ahead and measured them all out here. I've got a half a cup of each. And now that my soap is melting, almost melted here, I'm gonna put in this powder and all I have to do is just get it to dissolve. This laundry detergent, um, I just feel really good about using it um, with my family because, you know, we have our septic sy system, which is actually an aerobic system. So ultimately, it ends up getting put on our land, and I want to make sure that I'm not putting a lot of phosphates and other stuff. The biggest problem and complaint, because I mean, a lot of people are making, you know, laundry detergent right now, that I've heard just from different groups of people is sometimes your whites will tend to get dingy and honestly I've experimented with everything under the sun. Um, I've bought bluing which is what people supposedly use to make their clothes whiter and um, the latest thing that somebody has recommended to me is to get a really hard lye soap. Like you hear about grandma's lye soap that you know, that'll irritate your skin. And so that's going to be my next venture is to buy or make that. So I will let you know how that goes. Of course, it's something I can't just ex do and tell you right away because the clothes just kind of get um, dingy over time. So, but I'll keep you up to date on that. I'm really excited to try it. For the time being, what I do is I use this for all of my clothes except for my whites once in a while. I do use a commercial detergent. It's kind of one of those things of we do the best we can and we cut out as much junk as we can. So next step now that everything is dissolved I'm gonna put four cups of hot water in my five gallon bucket and then I'm gonna add my little soup here. That in. I usually do this on the floor, but 
going to do it up here now. And I'm just going to stir that around a little bit. And then it doesn't get any easier. Last step, I'm going to add one gallon plus six cups of cold water. So I'm going to pour these in. After I do that, I'm going to want to let this sit for 24 hours. It'll thicken and gel a little bit. However, it is not like a commercial detergent. It's thinner. I've heard people describe it as an egg noodle soup. So it's actually a liquid detergent. It's safe for high efficiency machines because it's very low sudsing. And we found out that, you know, suds don't necessarily mean something's getting clean. It's just kind of there for the consumer. So I'm just going to let it thicken over time for the next 24 hours and I'll come by and stir my little brew once in a while and see how it's going and then I will get a commercial I've kept a commercial laundry detergent jug and I'll pour it all in there so it's really easy I use a half a half of a cup for my laundry and um, that's about it it's pretty easy again this is Mandy at our life out here Thanks for watching. You're welcome to subscribe to our, our YouTube channel. We would love that. Check out our website at www.ourlifeouthere.com. We're on Facebook at Our Life Out Here, and we're on Twitter at, at Our Life Out Here. Thank you.